watching News 8. I'm with Kim Osier from the Veterans Outreach Center in Rochester. Kim, good morning. Thanks for a few minutes. Good morning. So we've got a couple of things we want to talk about. Coming up this Friday, your big annual event, Stars and Stripes. It's a virtual celebration this year, 7 to 8, again, this Friday, November 6th. Tell us what's on tap that night. We're very, very excited. We're going to have a platform that's going to allow everybody to join in and watch our celebration. We're able to to continue with our celebration of our heroes. We're gonna have our table of honor. We're gonna have some live entertainment with the Voices of Service, which is active military and veterans that have been singing. In fact, they were uh, finalists on America's Got Talent. Mm -hmm. And then our special guest is gonna be Gary Biker, one of the few uh, living Medal of Honor recipients. For those who get a ticket for Stars and Stripes, uh, what do you hope that they take from that night? We want them to realize how important it is to support our local veterans and that every penny that is raised from this event is going to stay right here in Rochester. We service over 2,000 veterans, female veterans, families a year. And we should mention uh, tickets are free for all veterans for Stars and Stripes. That's important. We want them to be able to participate. You've got another event coming up called Hope for Heroes. It's a telethon uh, the following Wednesday, well, Veterans yeah. Day, 730 to 8, right here on News 8. Uh, tell us about this. So the... The live telethon is actually going to be from 7.30 to 8 right there on, on Channel 8. And uh, we're going to be able to really let the masses understand what the Veterans Outreach Center has done in the past, what we're doing now, and what our future is going to bring. In fact, our theme for this year is then, now, and always. But what's really exciting about the celebration, people from all over the world, people that are deployed are going to be able to join in because it's on a social media platform. Talk about how the VOC has really found a way to continue to provide services despite the challenges of the pandemic. Yeah, I mean, we, we didn't miss a beat with our quartermaster. We served more uh, veterans with food and health and beauty aids than we ever did before. Um, we were able to have touchless deliveries of clothing and food. And uh, of course, at Richard's house, our, our uh, shelter, uh, people were, they were quarantined in there, but they had everything that they needed. We were able to get, you know, laptops and, and iPads and things like that so they could communicate communicate with our families. So we uh, we are allowing veterans and uh, people to come into the agency now. We've got everything set up with plexiglass and cleaning stations. So come on in and check it out. It's pretty cool. Continuing such important work. Kim, thank you for your time uh, and good luck with both Stars and Stripes and Hope for Heroes.